what's up people today i'm actually going to do something a little simple it's not going to be a part of the holding police liable series but it was something i was asked about probably about 15 minutes ago so it's very fresh on my mind and what i'm going to talk about is a brief brief issue with probation Simply because most people there you know you get in you watch parts of videos or you don't watch all of my videos for the most part where I speak about one thing and then later tie it in this one is an example of that and the reason why we speak about probation is because what happens is it becomes a contractual obligation in which they use to imprison or restrict one's liberty as a result of maybe non-payment or some other means of not being able to feed the system but for lack of a better term I've spoke about multiple times how there are no such things as debtors prison they are illegal and when you have a financial obligation to remain free that is called involuntary servitude now a while back in 1983 to be exact there was a Supreme Court case Bearden v Georgia 461 US 660 and the decision was probation may not be revoked solely because the defendant was unable to pay fine or restitution and without consideration of alternative means of punishment now a lot of times when you're dealing with probation they are actually a third party they are not even affiliated with the state when you have a third party you cannot bring a first party interest again these are all little things that make up a, the contract itself and again when we're dealing with contracts there are four things for the contract and the one thing that is always missing is consideration there is no consideration given and the contract becomes unilateral which makes it an illegal contract so understanding how probation works understanding if you accept the the ideals or the restitution or whatever the responsibility and you're and it's deemed probation understand it's a contract accepting the obligation is one thing but being your your liberty being taken is a completely different matter because your liberty should only be restricted if you have committed a crime which is harming some person or harming someone's property and other than that a contract should not be part of taking your liberty. So until next time.